Facebook has announced about internet.org platform an open program for developers to easily create services that integrate with internet.org Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg had uploaded a video in his Facebook profile in this video he talks about internet.org platform and he says that they are doing this in a way that respects net neutrality and is also effective in connecting the 4 billion people who need access last week I shared that two important principles, connecting everyone in the world and net neutrality, can and must coexist. Today, I'm going to share details on how internet.org will support these principles. Now, it's common sense to see how these ideas improve people's lives. If a person has slower access to a video because their mobile operator demands an extra fee, then that's bad, and net neutrality rules should prevent it. If an entrepreneur has to pay an extra fee just to reach their customers, then that's bad, and net neutrality rules should prevent that too. But if a local fisherman gets access to free internet services he couldn't otherwise afford to help him sell more fish and support his family, then that's good, and we shouldn't have rules that prevent that. Now, if this fisherman seems like some far-off case to you, remember that if you're watching this on the internet, most of the world lives more like that fisherman than like you. Almost two-thirds of the world's population has no internet access. As we've rolled out internet.org around the world, we hear stories like this fisherman's all the time. A chicken farmer in Zambia using free internet access to sell way more of his stock. An expectant mother looking up information on how to safely raise her child. A student using Wikipedia for free to study for her exams. Research has shown that for every billion people who gain access to the internet, more than 100 million are lifted out of poverty. There are more than 4 billion people who need to be connected. And if we can connect them, then we'll raise hundreds of millions of people out of poverty. I say all this supporting net neutrality. At its core, net neutrality is about preventing discrimination. But our society acknowledges that preventing discrimination alone isn't enough. We also need to do even more to lift up the disadvantaged in our communities. So while countries have anti-discrimination laws, we also have laws to make sure that we do even more to invest in groups like women and minorities. The same applies to universal connectivity and net neutrality. Some may argue for an extreme definition of net neutrality that says that it's somehow wrong to offer any more services to support the unconnected, but a reasonable definition of net neutrality is more inclusive. Access equals opportunity. Net neutrality should not prevent access. We need both. It's not an equal internet if the majority of people can't participate. Our goal with internet.org is to help everyone connect. We provide free basic services, starting with health, education, jobs, and communication. Services like Wikipedia, job listings, HIV education, and maternal health resources. Our vision is to give people access to more and more free services over time. Everyone should be able to offer free services. People should have choice over what services and what mobile operator they use. Here's how we get there. Internet.org is a partnership between governments, mobile operators, local entrepreneurs, and companies like Facebook. Everyone is welcome to join. It's not exclusive to any mobile operator or company. Now, we had to start somewhere, so we launched first with partners who wanted to work with us on this mission to connect the world. But we'll work with anyone who wants to join us. No company pays to be included in internet.org. No operator is paid to offer these services. Facebook doesn't even show ads in internet.org. This program supports itself. When people use free basic services, more of them then decide to pay to access the broader internet. And this enables operators to keep offering these basic services for free. It's not sustainable to offer the whole internet for free though. It costs tens of billions of dollars every year to run the internet and no operator could afford this if everything were free. But it is sustainable to build free basic services that are simpler, use less data, and work on all low-end phones. Internet.org started by working with partners to build a set of these services. 
We even made Facebook simpler by removing photos and videos. Today, we're taking the next step. We're going to open internet.org so anyone can build free basic services. Soon, we're going to share an open technical spec, and any compatible service will be available through internet.org across the whole world. This will give people even more choice and more free services, while still creating a sustainable economic model to connect every single person in the world. This is the next step forward for internet.org. Giving 4 billion people some free internet access is the right thing to do. Helping people find jobs and lifting them out of poverty is the right thing to do. Giving people a lifeline in emergencies is the right thing to do. And providing free access to education and health information is just the right thing to do. We have to ask ourselves, what kind of community do we want to be? Are we a community that values people and improving people's lives above all else? Or are we a community that puts the intellectual purity of technology above people's needs? As we're having this debate, remember that the people this affects most, the 4 billion unconnected, have no voice on the internet. They can't argue their side in the comments below or sign a petition for what they believe. So we decide our character and how we look out for them. Do we connect that fisherman in India now? That expectant mother in Ghana? And that student in Colombia? Do we keep pushing beyond them to connect their loved ones and their whole communities too? Or do we shut them out and tell them that they have to wait until they can afford to pay for it themselves? History tells us that helping people is always a better path than shutting them out. We have a historic opportunity ahead of us to improve the lives of billions of people. Let's take that opportunity. Let's connect them.